Okay, hello, hello everyone. Hi, hi, hi. So I see we have people from all over the world, England, uh, Canada, Israel, Mexico. Wow, lots of places. Hi, Ray, Ron, JJ, Raymond. Hi, hi. Nice to see you here, Eva. Wow, Oscar, hello, Ashley. And Lori, hi, Lori Gambino, hello, long time. Gabriel, hi. Lara, wow, nice to see you here. And Emma, Susan, Anastasia, Monica, hello. And Bono, hi. And Vinny, hi. Nice, Kinmal, hi. Very, very happy that you are here. So we have today a very uh, exciting and important uh, subject. John and Tracy, hello. Gilly, hi. Yes, very nice. So we have a very exciting and important project uh, today to talk about. We're talking about the coronavirus, okay? Um, and uh, this is part one. And um, let's start. Here we go. Hi, Denise. Hi, Ali. Hi. Elsa, hi. Nice to see you. So nice. Susan, hey. Good to see you, Susan. Hey. Okay, good. Agreements. Agreements. Nothing I say today is true unless it is true for you. Okay, nothing I say today is true unless it is true for you. Now, if you are new to those uh, webinars with me, uh, many of you have been with me in uh, the webinars, you need to find the chat box and you can talk to me in the chat box. You should talk to me in the chat box. You will have much more out of this webinar if you will be part of the chatting. Hi, Andy. Okay. Nothing I teach you is new, you already know it. You will see that what I teach you, you know it, but uh, it has been masked, heavily masked. What I teach you is not just theory, it's proven fact, but they need to be implemented in an exact manner and is different to what you are used to and hence, what I'm going to teach you is not what everyone knows and agrees to. What everyone knows and agrees to do not result in success. Most people fail most of the time and not only in regards to the coronavirus. So what I'm going to tell you is not what you are used to, it's different. It's totally different. And that's why you need to be in the chat with me to talk to me, to tell me you agree, you don't agree, what you feel about it, etc. It is the ability to confront the data, to figure out what is true, what is, and what is lies in the sea of misinformation. That will produce results. If you will be able to see what is true and what is lies in the sea of information, you will see you will not need me or you will not need anyone. You just have to learn how to observe this information and to decide what is right and what is wrong. Okay, I'm going to start with a drill. Some of you know it. Thank you, Sonia, Oscar, yes. Uno, yes. Leah, hi. Okay, I'm going to start with a drill. And what I want you to do when I say start, even if you've done it in the past with me, please do it again. When I say start, I will want you to inhale, like doing like that. Inhale as, for as long as you can. And I want you to check how many seconds you can inhale. And once you are done, I want you to write in the chat how many seconds you manage to inhale. Okay, so here we go. Start. Just inhale for as long as you can, for as long as you can. And when you are done, just write to me how many seconds. When you cannot, nine seconds, 30, nicely. Leanne, Lauren at 30, that's nice. 14, Shamaya, Aaron, 19, 10, 20, eight seconds, nice. Nine, 12, 20, 16, 32, wow, that's very nice. 35, wow, that's a lot. Nice, 15 and 16 ever, nice, 12, 25, very, very nice. JJ, 30, nice, about 32, Elsa, 39, Glenn, wow, very nice. Lori, 40, Rick, 40, wow, uh, Patrick, you're smoking a cigar. Pamela, 60 seconds, that's a lot, very nice. Nicola, 35, wow, that's very nice. Okay, good. Why did I do this drill with you? Why did I do this drill with you? Because you will see that as good as you are, you can inhale only for so long, and at one point you will have to exhale. 
that's what's going on right now. When I talk to you, you inhale information. And if you would not be uh, uh, on the chat uh, tool, if you would not chat with me, if you would not excel, what you will get, you will get choked by too much data. But if you will be with me, if you will be on the chat, if you'll give me acknowledgement, if you'll ask questions, if you will say, yes, I agree with that, or I don't agree with that, if you'll do that, you will see that the data will have tremendous amount of value for you, and otherwise it will be basically useless for you. Okay, does it make sense to you? Let's see the, the yes, you, yes, you good, good, excellent, you got it. Excellent, beautiful, beautiful, yes, very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, now before we starting, because this is a sensitive project, I want to give you a legal dis a disclaimer and uh, uh, I want you to really listen to this disclaimer because what I'm going, the way that I'm going to talk to you later on will be sound like I'm telling you, you have to do that, you have to do that, but I really want you to understand where I'm coming from. Nothing in what I'm saying is intended to be medical advice or a suggestion that anyone should act in one way or another. You need to be your own judge. What's true for you, it's true for you. I'm giving you a, a tool. I'm giving you what I've observed and I'm asking you to observe. What I'm doing is only asking you to observe and inspect the situation from different viewpoints. Okay, does it make sense to you? Just observe. Excellent, good. I'm not a doctor. I'm better. No, I'm joking. I'm not a doctor. And I'm not qualified to give medical advice. And nothing I say or present here or in any of the series of video or posts should be taken as a substitute for professional medical advice. Okay. Now, the decision to use or not use the material in this webinar, videos, and in the series of, uh, and in the series and the posts, will be done by the observer, you decide, and on his sole responsibility. <laughs> exactly, Aaron. <laughs> okay. I will not be responsible in any way, shape or form for any result. And I'm using here the word responsibility uh, as it's been used generally. So I'm not, uh, I'm, I will not be responsible in any way, shape or form for any result being good or bad, including damages that may be caused due to the use or an attempt to use any of the data or suggestion I provide in this webinar, videos, or any of the material in the series. And one last thing, one last thing. You should keep the law of the land and act, ac and act according to the law of the land. In the case that you develop any of the symptoms of the coronavirus, it is of utmost importance to seek immediate medical advice and act according to the law. Thank you. Do we agree with that? Do, do we have an agreement? Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Excellent. If you don't agree, please leave the webinar because I don't want to, to, be, to cause you damage. Okay, good. Excellent. Let's start. The truth about the coronavirus. This webinar will affect all aspects of your life. This webinar will affect all aspects of your life. Your health, your state of mind, your emotional state. It will affect your children, your parents, your financial state, and even, and even your spiritual condition. The purpose is to separate the truth from the lies so you can understand what is actually going on. You really have to understand what is actually going on. This is really important to separate the truth from the lies. To give you tools to protect yourself and your loved ones physically from the virus. So I'm going to give you actual tools that will help you to protect yourself from the virus. Um, and they are very effective tools. They are not just theories. They are they actually work if you do them and if you do them accurately. And to give you tools to handle the virus in case you are infected. So if you are infected, there is actually specific tools that you can use to help the body recover. Because the body is just a machine that control 
by a boss. And if the boss is in a good condition, the body will be in a good condition. But you need to know how to do it exactly. And to give you tools to recover from the financial damages caused by the coronavirus effect. Anyone on this planet has been affected financially from this nonsense. And you need to learn what to do. You really have to understand what to do. And if you will understand what to do, it will actually be very good for you because you can uh, create a, an enormous, phenomenal uh, financial success if you really understand what you need to do. Okay? And number five, most importantly, my purpose is to expose and handle the actual cause of the virus. And it is not what you have been hearing in the media. The actual, the actual source, the actual, why is it, where is it? It's like unbelievable. Once you will understand it, you will see it's wow. I did not see it written anywhere. I've been in the past eight days nonstop on the coronavirus doing research, uh, putting together a massive, massive spreadsheet. Uh, this spreadsheet is so big by now that it takes it a few minutes to open. It's a massive spreadsheet with the uh, cross references, and it showed me th this work with the numbers actually showed me the obvious reason for what's going on. Without those numbers, it's so hidden that you, it, it will, no one will guess it. No one will guess it. Okay, we will discover the truth about the virus, what it is, the truth about the, the pandemic, what it means, the truth about the economic disaster, the truth about the fear, the truth about the government's decisions, the truth about how it all started, and even what is the real reason for the situation. And maybe the most important truth, the truth about when and how this insanity will come to an end. We will together find the truth and the lies about the coronavirus and its side effects. The truth is very important, but the lies are as important. Are you ready for that? Good, and thank you. Yes. Excellent. Very, very good. Fully ready. Excellent. Thank you, John. Wow. I'm so happy to have you, John Perro. It's not the same without you. Okay. Exactly. Margaret agree. Okay. And Ashley and Steve also agree. Okay. In the past few months, many people, people simply lost it. There is endless barrage of opinions and discussion on TV station and online, together with drastic measures by governments across the globe. Measures never before undertaken on, the plan on planet Earth, creating man's worst enemy. What do you think is man's worst enemy? What do you think is man's worst enemy? Fear, fear, fear. Yes, not knowing. Yes, stopping, yes, fear, entrapment, unknown, the unknown, himself, yes, fear, being isolated, insanity, that's very true, very, worry, yes, money crisis, ah, money crisis, yes, yes, misinformation, false data, insanity, not being boss, yes, very good, confusion, very good, okay, well, right at the outset, I will give you a spoiler, okay, right at the outset. Okay, here it is. Man's worst enemy is not the virus, not the element, not war, not even his spouse. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, man's man worst enemy is the hysteria created by men. The hysteria. This is the enemy. And I will explain why, and I will show you how to handle it. And it is actually quite fascinating. 
Okay. You, you see, in, in Israel, just to give you an example, in Israel right now, all, every single um, citizen is followed by the FBI, the Israeli FBI. It's called the Shabak. Um, no one can go anywhere. They are basically in an hysteria. The government is in hysteria and the population. And they do stupid things. When people are in hysteria, they do stupid things. Toilet paper become more important than gold. You know, that's, that's really stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've, I've actually seen, I've actually seen people arguing and fighting in, uh, at the supermarket in South Africa. In South Africa, it's hardly started and it's already, people are crazy. Yes. It is not the hysteria, but the man-made hysteria. It's actually man-made hysteria. Hysteria do not happen if you do not create it. When you take a normal person and you put him in a difficult situation, he will confront it. He will look at that, he will act. But when you put a man in an inaction, when you put him where he cannot do anything, he will get in hysteria and there is a method of creating hysteria and that hysteria is the real enemy. The hysteria coupled with the fear and stress is the most dangerous part of the coronavirus. Most dangerous part, because what people will do, and I'm talking about people in the street and I'm talking about governments, because governments, I don't know if you notice, composed of men and they're politicians uh, and they are not necessarily the most educated people on the, on the planet or the most clever planet, uh, people on the planet. They can be, but not necessarily. And uh, I've seen people that are um, uh, supposed to be able to observe making very bad decisions just because of that fear and hysteria. Yes, I will give the definition of hysteria. It's coming. So it is man-made. It's really have, you have to understand when you see hysteria, someone creating it. You alone will not get into hysteria. Someone created it in your mind beforehand. Now, man in hysteria is the most dangerous factor in the handling of the coronavirus. But, but, man with the hysteria in check is the most powerful factor in the universe. Uh, I, I'm going to explain what it is. I'm going to explain what it is. Men that are under the influence of hysteria is the worst enemy to men. And men with the hysteria in check is the best friend to men. Really, you really have to understand that the problem is the hysteria because the moment you have an hysteria, you don't have a group. You don't have a group. Group can be uh, formed and operate together only when you don't have hysteria. Yeah. Thank you, Dustin and Teresa. Now, how do we handle the hysteria and all the as other aspects of the coronavirus? How do we handle it? I'm going to, to tell you the plan here, okay? I've developed a series of webinars that I call the Corona Survival Pack. The pack is divided into two parts, physical handling, handling the body and the environment. So basically, I will teach you everything you need to know on what is a virus, how does it work, why, how do you handle viruses, how do you protect against viruses, what's happened in um, other, what's happened with uh, other uh, epidemics, how, what do you do? Number two, the spiritual handling. Handling the mental condition that allows the body to become sick. For as long as you are spiritually intact, you will never get sick. This is, the, I'm, I'm not just saying it. If you will look, if you actually look and check any study of any old religion, of any person that had anything to do with the philosophy or or um, 
or knowledge, you will see they said the same thing, but they didn't tell you how. They didn't tell you how. They knew that it is that the that the condition of the spirit defined the condition of the body. They knew that, but they didn't know how to handle it. I'm going to give you an exact step-by-step -step handling of how do you handle that mental condition? What do you do? What, what do you do when specifically to handle viruses? What what is the handling? What, why viruses attack one person and not another person? Why? It is quite fascinating. You know they've done they've done some very interesting uh, uh, studies. They took um, they, they took a, a horse with the virus and got him to breathe into a big uh, bucket or a big uh, container. And then they took other horses and got them to breathe out. And those other horses, uh, some of them got the virus and some of them did not get, get the virus, okay? Now they took those vi these horses that didn't get the virus and this is for, they gave it the, those viruses next to those horses for one month uh, every day they gave them the same thing to, to breed those viruses, nothing happened. They took these viruses and started to uh, put them under du uh, duress, under suppression. They started to hit them, they started to not let them go, they played with the food, uh, they, they, they just give them a problem. It took three days for those viruses, for these horses to catch the viruses. Did you understand? There's a, the mental condition, the spirit, define the condition of the body. And you need to make sure that the spirit is actually in a good condition. Yes. Now, in the bonus pack, the bonus pack, the, the third part of this uh, pack, the third part of the pack is the bonus pack, which is financial handling and the, handling the financial situation. Each one of you, I am sure, somehow got affected financially. Somehow, you need to learn what to do. You need to learn how, how to handle it. What do you do in such a situation? What do you do financially? What do you do business-wise? How do you promote? What's the handling? Even if you didn't get hurt yet, it's coming. And you did get hurt because price is going up, because uh, uh, material is not available, so everyone got somehow affected. Cancel job? Yes. The company will cancel job with you. Yes. Now, the handling of the hysteria is part of the spiritual handling. The handling of the hysteria is part of the spiritual handling. I've developed a series of drills that are most effective mindset drills for the handling of fear, terror, and hysteria. I call them the hysteria bomb. Yes. Okay. Now, I can tell you immediately uh, something about this um, uh, series of uh, webinars. Uh, they're going to uh, be very, very low cost. All the profit from these webinars, which is probably more than 90% of the cost, uh, going to go to, uh, I'm going to donate it to people, to organization that handle uh, people that uh, has been affected by the uh, coronavirus. So every cent of what you will pay uh, is not coming to my pocket. It's actually going to help uh, people that really need it right now because I'm, I just don't need it at the moment and I want to help. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Now you can register right now. It's mayor100x.com. It costs uh, something like $17.97. It's nothing. And uh, the whole series costs $17. Or, and, and it's like, it's really nothing. Just, you can go right now and register. I have limited number of seats. The room is for 100 people. The webinar room is going to be for 100 people because the government uh, limit the number of people that can be together in one room. No, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so you can just you can just go and register right now. Okay, <laughs> now the drills are so powerful that they will cure the hysteria and turn man into what he always wanted to be, a friend to men. This is really what men always wanted to be, always. And by the way, 
And by the way, since happiness is the prerequisite for success, and since those drills will for sure improve your outlook on life, you can be sure that those drills will greatly improve your overall success in life. By the way, although I'm going to donate all this money, if you are not happy, if you feel that it's not what I promise, if you just don't like it, you'll get your money back. No question asked. Okay, no question asked. So I'm giving you 100% money back guarantee. Yes. Now, what else will you find in the Corona Survival Pack? I want to explain to you what else you will find in the Corona Survival Pack. The physical handling. So you, I, I want you to really know what I'm going to give you. The physical handling. You got, you're going to get something that I call the basic formula. An effective method to quickly strengthen the cells physically and so prevent viruses from penetrating and kidnapping the cell. I want you to understand that the virus is not dangerous. Viruses are all around us all the time, including different shapes or different threats of uh, the coronavirus. The virus is not a problem. The problem is that the cell become weak. And if the cell is weak, the virus kidnap the cell and use the cell to distribute the virus out into the body. So what you need to handle is the cell, not the immune system, not the virus, but the cell. Thank you, Leah. Okay, so this is what we're going to handle. I'm going to give you a basic formula of a specific um, combinations uh, of uh, vitamins, minerals, oils, and some other things that you will take that and you will see. There's no way that you'll get uh, sick. Great. Now, the vital necessity of vitamins. I want to really explain to you why vitamins sometimes don't work okay what they don't tell you about vitamins and why it seems vitamins do, do nothing in most cases thank you thank you so so you you notice that sometimes you take vitamins and you take vitamins and they tell you they will do this and they will do this and um uh, and, and they, they and they they promise you a lot of things but it's actually not working, yes? Uh, so why it is? There's an actual reason. There's an actual reason why it is. And uh, I'm going to teach you what's, what's the reason. I'm going to teach you how to decide how many vitamins and what the vitamins that you specifically should take. Um, and, it, and it will be something quite amazing for you. You will see, the, you will feel the difference. Okay, next. Virus killer. How to eliminate vi the virus in case you get infected? Let's say you got infected. Let's say uh, your uh, cells are weak. You didn't do the plan or you wake up too, la too late and you didn't start in time because you need three days for this, um, uh, for this for basic formula to operate. You need three days until the body starts to recover. If you did get the virus, I will tell you exactly what to do to handle the virus. I will give you shielding your children, how to handle children in an insane environment. This will be something uh, that uh, I, I will teach. It will be two parts. Part number one will be just giving you the how to protect your children and then how to actually make sure that they too don't get into hysteria because if they get into hysteria and fear and terror, they're carrying it for a long, long time. Lessons from the Black Plague and the Spanish Flu. There are some unbelievable lessons that you can learn from the Black Plague and the Spanish Flu. Fascinating, and it is wow. The snitch. What are the real statistics? What are the real statistics? I, you really need to find out the real statistic across the globe. I'm going to share with you the result that I have from the Excel. So you will see, and I will share it every day or every two days. I will give you the update because I have it in such a way that it gets updated. And then um, you will see that the statistics are different than what they tell you, totally different. Now the spiritual handling, the spiritual handling composed of the hysteria bomb. It's the most effective mindset drills and the handling of hysteria. 
Then there is the invisible killer, how to spot and heal it. And there's one more thing that I'm doing with the Ray. Uh, we just discussed it for a very, very short time. She asked me for, uh, uh, we spoke about it for a few minutes, but I know it can be done and I have the whole plan in my head. And it's called the Corona Meditation. Okay? How to control viewpoints. There's an actual way that you can control viewpoints. And blanket handling, the key for success. This is something that you really need to know and it will open the door to success with you. Next, the financial handling. Business, now this is something that I just, a word that I uh, just make a, a made up which called a uh, spiritual corona, spirona. So I want business spirona first aid. Yes, people are really have spiritual corona. They really, really do. This is what, this is the result of this uh, total hysteria. Recording that will teach you what a business that was infected by the Spirona can do to survive and even expand. You see, businesses do not actually get uh, um, affected by the virus, but they do. They're affected spiritually, and you really need to know what to do. Now, invitation only to a WhatsApp group, enough sanity beats insanity. That's um, how I'm calling this uh, um, WhatsApp group. And it will be, you will be the first to get uh, my updates. You will be able to share a success story, ask me question, and get extra data. Okay? And something that uh, I call the old formula. Yes, exactly. And it was something that I call the old formula. And it is an effective method to strengthen cells and kill unwanted viruses, including the oldest remedy against viruses. So this is the whole plan. This is the whole plan. And now I'm going to uh, start to explain a little bit more so you will know specific things. Okay. Do you like it so far? Do you like it so far? It is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Very good. Excellent. Very, very nice. Wow. Great. Amazing. I love it. Good. Perfect. The question, of course, the question, of course, is what is the source of the hysteria? What do you think is the source of the hysteria? Okay, Karen, I'm looking at your message. Uh, so, okay. So, um, Karen, the, the link is with Lisa. Lisa knows the link. Okay, lack of knowledge, government, unknowingness, missing knowledge, massive fear, yes, media, false data. Excellent. Fear of global change, meeting agenda being implemented, yes, lack of hope. A lack of control, media. Excellent, very good. Money. Okay, let me show you exactly how you create hysteria. Okay? Lies. Let me show you exactly how to create hysteria because you are right. What you're saying is right, but I want to give you the exact step by step how it's come about. Okay? First of all, the first um, stable datum for you is that fear, fear creates hysteria. There's another step in between that's called terror, but fear creates hysteria. Okay? Fear creates hysteria. Does it make sense to you? If you're afraid in, on steroid, you will get into hysteria, okay? Fear is the manifestation of lack of, of data or an inability to observe. Someone can either make you blind or you simply don't have the data. You don't have a way to, to, uh, to get the data. So far, so good? Perfect. Now, when you don't know what is going on around you, you will be afraid. Fear is the result of unwillingness to communicate. So the point is that somehow bring you to a point where you don't want to communicate. So there is fear. Fear is temporary because fear is uh, you don't communicate. But then something happened, and now you know what happened. But 
if someone make you unwilling to communicate, when someone beat you and beat you and beat you and you say it's better not to know, the end result will be fear. Yes, fear is used to control. Um, JJ, the, 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 those lessons will be, uh, probably I will have them twice per day, once around 6 p.m. Um, South Africa time and once around 8 p.m. South uh, Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Now, if the fear will not be handled quickly, you will move into terror, which is fear on steroids. It is the result of massive confusion without handling in view that causes your stomach vagus nerve to, to react. Now, do you know that you did, did you feel did you ever feel that you the fear was so big that you got this reaction in your stomach? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Now this nerve is either is either one of ten pair of uh, cranial nerves that carry sensory and motor neurons serving the heart, lung, stomach, intestine, and various other organs. Now this is really interesting to understand what this is go what's going on. This nerve is used to send messages to the stomach and in the stomach you have invis something that I call the invisible killer. It is the nerve that gets upset by the, an invisible killer at the stomach. There is some entity that lives in the stomach and as a result deliver the command to the brain to make the body sick. When you get this thing re-stimulated, when, when this nerve gets re-stimulated, what happens is it gets upset. The nerve gets upset or the invisible killer gets upset and it sends messages to the brain to make the body sick. So did you notice that if you get bad news, if you get really, really afraid, the next thing that happened is a deterioration in your health? Have you seen that? So the, the mechanism is you get the bad news, the entity, the stomach entity, get re-stimulated. It sends a message to the brain to send to the major part of the, the body that there is a big problem, massive problem. And in order to protect against this massive problem, they're making the different part of the body sick. So the immune system will start reacting. So you become, it's a phantom sick, it's not real sickness, but that sickness is a massive problem. Because now everything around you goes, in, goes bad. Do you understand? Do you, have, do, you, do you follow me? So, so let, me, let me draw that because I want you to really understand that, okay? So it goes like that. This is you. And this is your general body. And let's say this is your stomach. Okay. And legs and hands and so on. Okay. I don't know if you know, or I don't know if it's real to you, but your body has connected to it some entities, we can call it entities, or the, it's different life forms, okay? The boss of those entities is in the stomach, okay? When you get this stomach that go, ah, oh, when something happened, this thing sent through that nerve message to the brain and it tells the brain, listen, I am not in control anymore in the different entities that are in the, uh, with the, the body. And there are different entities that are in each one of them, in many parts of the body, not important right now how and so on. And the brain now sends messages to the different entities and to the different parts of the body that there is an attack 
it's not a real attack because it's just a spiritual situation. It's not even a real attack. And that message, get the body to act like it's sick. The immune system start to operate. And at that moment, the next thing that happened, you become vulnerable to disease because now the, everything says all the, um, uh, all your protection go to specific places that are important and the rest is leaving open. And because it's an all attack, imagine you have a country, the 20 um, uh, countries attack it in one time and it doesn't have enough soldiers. That's what happened. You, you, you become open to attack and one of the parts of the body will become, one or more of the parts of the body will become from now on either sick or susceptible to become sick. Do you understand the mechanism? Yes, Kelly. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you that not because it's a, a not because you're ready to get all of that data, but you need to get this data in order to fully handle what's going on. Okay. And how do we know if it's true? Because once you start using that data, once I will explain to you and you'll start using this data, you will see that the problem will go away. And that's how you know if it's wrong. If you use that data and the problem do not go away, you know that what I'm saying is bullshit. Okay. The invisible killer. The Corona survival pack will teach you how to get immune to the upsets of life. So I'm teaching you about the Corona, but actually it applies to any situation. And to gain control over life, uh, you must learn how to spot and control it. You must learn how to spot and control the invisible killer. You need to know what to do. And the body, magically, I would say, will heal. Of course, you can go and register. You had a question about what's the link. It is mayor100x.com. Okay? Mayor100x.com. Now, the behavior that follow fear and terror is called hysteria. Hysteria is a behavior. It's what you do when there is no immediate solution and you think that you are totally, totally limited. There is nothing you can do. Okay? The key to life without fear, without terror, and without hysteria is understanding. The key is understanding. You aren't afraid from what you understand. You aren't afraid from what you understand. Or if you are afraid, you don't, you don't understand. You're never afraid of what you understand. Do, do you understand that if you're afraid of bungee jumping? How, how many of you are afraid of bungee jumping? How many of you are afraid of bungee jumping? Me, me, me. Most people will be afraid. You will see that if you're afraid of bungee jumping, You'll be afraid of bungee jumping until you will do a bungee jumping. Once you fall, you are not afraid of bungee jumping anymore. You may be, you're not, but you, you may be afraid from falling now. You may be afraid from many other things, but you will not be afraid from bungee jumping. Actually, once you fall, it's the best, most liberating feeling in the universe. And a second later, you may decide, I'm afraid again. Because you are not. You're afraid only from what you know. Once you do it and you understand it, you're not afraid of it. How many of you used to be afraid from driving and after doing and understanding it, you stop being afraid of driving? How many of you being afraid of being, I don't know, in any situation? Yes? So if you look that you're not actually afraid once you understand, it doesn't go together. So the reason people are afraid of the coronavirus, the reason people are afraid and worry about money, the reason people are afraid and worry about their family, afraid of falling, afraid of any one of those things. There is something that you don't know that you don't know. Okay. Now, to bring about an understanding, you must be able to separate the truth from the lies. The result of understanding is that your level of fear will decrease your confidence will raise, and we did. Your life will improve. So more knowledge equal more or better control, 100% Thomas. 
So the result of understanding is that your level of fear will decrease. So you can very quickly check once I've started to deliver to you the webinars, uh, do your level of uh, fear decrease? Uh, is your confidence raised? And does your life improve? If not, you need to know that I'm talking nonsense and ask for a refund. But if yes, you need to know that other people need to know about it. So you need to promote to them. Okay, I want to, to talk to you just about myself very quickly because some of you don't know me, some do and some don't. So here we go. For those who do not know, know me yet, my name is Meir Ezra and I'm an international businessman, investor, entrepreneur, philanthropist, husband and a father. But first and first, foremost, I'm an expert in the human spirit. Anyone that know me saw uh, things that I'm doing that the only explanation is that I really know the human spirit. Some of you is, are on this call and can confirm it. My result, my, <laughs> my results are so powerful that I guarantee my result. I'm the only person that come and say, listen, uh, you take uh, any service with me. If you don't get the result, don't worry. You don't have to pay, I'll pay you. So I'm not getting money. So if you don't get the result after I donated the money, I will pay you from my own pocket. It's totally 100% because I am sure I will bring the result. Okay. So that's just a few words about me. I don't want to go too much. And I just wanted to show you the beautiful picture that uh, a friend of mine took. Okay. Real results. I want to show you some real results. Real results. Okay. Here it is. So I, I delivered a, a seminar in Cape Town to my son, um, business uh, colleges, uh, colleague, colleagues and friends. And uh, this is just one of the, of the responses. We got many, but this is just one of them. Uh, I'm super impressed uh, from today's seminar been struggling with the mental limitation for over four years since my father passed and today shot shot changed that very real please tell your father this like this is another level thank you bro this is some of god's friend writing to him yes my son friend it's really powerful uh, shamaya shamaya is on the call and she can tell you that i did not invent it when you are tired of uh, struggling and not really getting ahead in life you should join Mayor Ezra next webinar. What I've learned from him has changed my life better than I could ever have imagined. And it keeps getting more amazing. Uh, today was another phenomenal webinar with Mayor Ezra that increased my confidence and my ability to create anything I decided. Not bad. Well done, Shamaya. Yes. And uh, Monica, she's also on the call. I tend to multiply seminars and webinars from a Ezra. I have amazing wins and results from applying his teaching in my life. The results are happiness and knowledge, but also very tangible results like improved body or much more money. When I started with Mayor, I could not even afford his classes. Over, over the time, my company grew and I made more and more money. Sometimes just sitting in this class before even going into the world and applying the result, resulted in instant income that just magically show up in my account. The biggest success was one month after applying his teaching, my company grew from making 20K a month to making over $1 million revenue, just in one month. This is a real mayor calls and are happening continuously while working with mayor. Another one, Pedro, uh, again, he's also on the call, Pedro and Alex. One of the people beyond my family, wife and daughter that I'm most grateful for is Mayor Ezra. If not for what uh, I've learned from him and the help and support he has given us, I would not be where I am at. I'd definitely be divorced and, and uh, not in good spiritual or financial position. Thank, thank you, love you, love you back. Yes, thank you. Okay, so this is just for you to get some feeling of where we're going, what's the result that you can expect because not all of you know me. Okay, the fear, the terror and hysteria are engineered. It means that someone injects into us scary information that is simply 
not true. Almost 100% of the information we hear about the corona is lies. And I'm not exaggerating. I have an actual proof from what I'm telling you. Almost 100% of the information we hear about the coronavirus is lying. Some are blunt lies and some are incomplete or distorted information or distorted lies that are presented in a way that is designed to cause fear, terror and hysteria. It does not just happen that it is presented in that way. It is engineered to be presented that way to cause the fear, terror and hysteria. Let's examine one piece of information, okay? One piece of information. How do you know how big is the, pro uh, the problem is? How do you know how big is the problem of the coronavirus is? How do you know what's the, what's the size? What's the size of the problem? The media, yes, how do you know? But how, how big is the lie? But how do you know, how do you measure it? What's the measure? Mm-hmm. Lack of toilet paper, yes, stats. But what, what stats do you look? What statistic do you check? What, what do you, how do you know? Social media, yes. Mm -hmm. Amount of people affected. Okay, amount of people affected. Excellent. How many people affected in the coronavirus, more or less, right now? How many people up to now or right now? Worldwide, worldwide. What's, what's the order of magnitude? There, what, what has been promoted? 200,000, yes, 195, 197, 200, around 175 to 200. Do you agree with that? Yes, do you agree about 120, 175 to 200,000? And this gives you the, the feeling, it gives you an estimation of, um, uh, of how big is the problem. Okay, now, every day, all day, in all the news outlets, we hear about the number of people that are sick with the coronavirus, okay? Every day you hear that, and this, this place and this place and so on. Now, the number is important since it defines the size of the problem. If we have 20 people that got affected or 200 people, it's a big, big, big difference, yes? Massive. Now, let's look at how bad the coronavirus is. So you told me that there is more or less about 175 to 200,000. Let's look at some basic principles, okay? I want you to look at this basic principle, okay? Let's say there are 1,000 people with the coronavirus and 500 dies. We will have 500 divided to 1,000 times 100, which means we have 50% mortality rate. Is that correct or not? Everyone happy half? Yes, quite simple. Good. Now, now, if there are 1 million people who got corona and 500 died, the percentage will be much, much different. It will be 0.05%. Is that correct? Everyone with me? Yes. So you see, same number of people who die, but the size of the problem changes dramatically. Do you agree with me that if 50% of people die is a totally different problem yes good good perfect so here is the truth here is the truth here is the truth okay this is quite fascinating the total number of people with the coronavirus worldwide is false why why before you jump and let, uh, let, let, let me prove to you why the misrepresentation creates a few problems Number one, when you hear the total number of people who get the coronavirus and you don't compare it to the overall number of people in the globe or in the country, you get the feeling that the problem is huge. But I will shortly show you the numbers and you will discover the fascinating truth. You will discover some fascinating truth. Number two, most people get the coronavirus will not develop major symptoms and will not go to see a doctor, or even will not feel sick. And so we will, will not be counted. So let's say right now there is 200,000 people that they have the coronavirus, but in reality, it's probably 2 million people, but we just don't know about it. And it's not bad, it's actually good. It's actually good because if we have 2 million people 
and only 0.2 percent right now what, right, what they're saying right now is that from the 200,000 people that have been affected 0.2 percent will die okay but if it is two million people that has been uh, affected with the same number of people that die the actual number of people that die is 0.001 percent okay but that's not the problem yet that's still not the problem on the other hand the number of people that are reported as sick from the coronavirus, and this is really important that you understand, accounted since the start, but they do not remove them once recovered, and they don't subtract those who, who die. So if at the start, at day one, you will see there was two people, and then 50, and then 100, and then 1,000, and they got to the number of 175 or whatever, and but it is cumulative number. Do you understand the problem? Do you see the problem? The numbers that you see is cumulative numbers. It's not the actual number right now. Okay, now let's see a little bit more. Let's see a little bit more. If you will see from this graph, this is coming from Johns Hopkins University. They say that 56% of the people recovered, 40% are currently ill, and 3.5% die. Now, these 3.5%, most of them, or which all of them, supply it in the world so that rich and rich tourists can buy rich food. Here we go. We made this thing. <laughs> Some more sound, yes. So, what's happened is like that. First of all, if the number is not 200,000, but 2 million, which means, let's say, 10 times more, that we just don't know about the problem, the number of people that die is 0.3.5%. If about 80% of the confirmed dead, we know that they were sick, and I can tell you that each person that died had to be sick to die prior to getting the virus. The problem is not a problem. Do you understand? Do you see the point? Good. You understand? Exactly. It's... Now, for example, yesterday it was reported that 167, 509 people are sick with the coronavirus. You can now see that uh, since they do not reduce the recovered and the dead, and the numbers are simply a lie that cause fear, terror, and hysteria. The fact is that at least, or minimum, I've checked in different places, the lowest number, the lowest estimation that I found was 45%. So I took the lowest number, the worst condition. So at least, or minimum, 40, 45% of those people recovered and are not sick which means that the actual number in the worst case scenario is 75,000 people, it's less than 100,000 worldwide. Almost 50% of what is reported. Did you get the idea? It creates an unbelievable feeling of emergency, an unbelievable fear, but you take 8 billion people, 8 billion people, and 75% got affected. What does it mean? It's your chances to die from car accident is 10 times bigger. Do you understand? Now, but this number is probably not frightening enough after four months of the dangerous pandemic. So they use the overall number of all the people that never got sick from the uh, coronavirus, that ever got sick from the coronavirus. Do you see now? Ah, 75, yes, 75,000 now affected, yes, yes. Now, how many times do you hear this per day in comparison to other similar diseases? For example, how many times do you think uh, you heard about SARS, dead people don't talk, and how many people uh, you, you heard, how many mentioned in the media at the time of the SARS, a, a outbreak, how many mentioned the SARS was uh, mentioned in the media, do you think? Over a longer period of time. 
How many times SARS was mentioned at the time of the SARS out outbreak? It's, it was not when it was a when it was a problem. It, the fact that you know about it, it's it means that it was mentioned. Yes. So now let, let me show you what's happening. It's like quite unbelievable. Okay, and this is numbers. It's not my opinion. Like oh, the SARS throughout the time of the SARS, which was almost eight months, fifty six point two million mentioned. HIV forty million times. MERS. 23.2, Ebola, Ebola, 11.1 million, that's all, okay? At the same time, or, or at the time of the corona, 1.1 billion times. Do you understand that? 1.1 billion times. Someone creating the hysteria. Do you understand that? 1.1 billion, billion times. Do you understand? Now, let, let's look at how dangerous is the corona with the false statistic. With the false statistic, how dangerous is the corona? So, if I look, if I look uh, this is how contagious and deadly it is. The bird flu is somewhere around 58%. Ebola, 50% of the people that had Ebola died. Mars, 35. Smallpox, 30. Polio, 25, 23. The Spanish flu was somewhere here. And look, where is corona? Somewhere below 1%. They don't know, but they're estimating somewhere below 1% to above to 2%, 2.5%, somewhere here, 1.5% to 3.5 or 0.7 to 3.7. It's nothing. Now, the flu, the flu, the flu have more people die from the flu, but it's not only that more people die from the flu, more people die from the flu after we have a vaccine to the flu and 60% of the people got, of the world, 60% of the world has been vaccinated against flu. Do you understand the point? It is unbelievable. Once you start to look at that, it's unbelievable. Now the handling is so simple. The handling is so simple. Once you see the handling, it's like unbelievable. Yes. Why? You know, you know what I think about all the conspiracy theory? And then um, what I think that all the conspiracy theories are beautiful and uh, whatever, but they don't help me to solve the problem. If they don't help me to solve the problem, they are not true. They may have some truth in them, but they are not true. Let's say someone tell me the reason is because 5G. Okay, can you do something about it right now? No, then it's not the reason. It might be true that it's coming from and it's affecting but it doesn't help me to solve the problem. So it's nonsense, it's just noise. You, you, see that, you see the idea? I'm looking, does it work or not? If it's not working, who cares? 5G, okay, 5G. Can, can you turn off the 5G? No, then thank you very much. Right now, this is not what, it does not bother. I do need to understand the purpose because once you will understand the purpose of why all this thing happening, you will have a big, ah, of course. You'll have, ah, of course, and you'll understand all the actions of governments and you'll understand what's actually going on. And it's not some kind of a conspiracy theory. It's much simpler. Now, imagine that every day, all day, you would hear in the news and all over the internet, the cumulative number of people who die in car accidents since the invention of cars. What would happen to your view on cars? You will walk, yes. Will you let your children go into it? Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. You will not touch cars. Yes. If 1.1 billion times in four months, they will tell you cars are dangerous, cars are dangerous, they're going to kill you, it's very dangerous, it's coming to you, it's coming to you, it's coming to you, you will not touch cars. If you had this discuss all day long, every day for four months, and if the government would put ban on how many people can be in one car at a time, and how many cars should could be on each street at a time, you would not get close to cars. You would start to keep social car distancing as a new mannerism. You understand? Insanity. 
total insanity. Have a look. If every day, all day, you would hear in all the news outlets about the people who got hurt by criminals in the past 300 years worldwide. And imagine the government and experts will tell you what you need to do to handle the pandemic and how you must not go to work and do, don't go to public places, etc. Yes, this is really unbelievable. This is spiritual corona. This is what bring about spirona, yes? This is people going, th this is the problem. Now, within a few weeks, you would be terrified and would lock yourself in your own private jail. What if they did it for the total number of kids that drown in pools worldwide since the invention of the pool? Will you let your kids get closer to a pool? Or the total number of people that die in air accident since the Wright brothers' first flight. Or children that got hurt while playing. You got the idea, yes? You understand? They're pumping, it's dangerous and dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. So no one look and they believe it's dangerous. Now, when you promote the total cumulative number of something, of something bad, it gives the feeling that the solution is the situation is very bad. It gives you the feeling that the situation is really bad. You feel afraid and in terror, and you feel you are next in line, and there is nothing you can do about it. That's the feeling. That's what's happening right now with the coronavirus. But it is not true. It is far from the truth. How far? As far as the distance from here to China and back. That's how far it is. While most countries have at least one case of the coronavirus, only 43 countries have at least one person who died from the virus. That is 31% of the countries across the globe over almost four months or a third of a year. The, but by the way, do you know that the UK, they, don't, uh, they didn't take the same measures in the, as the rest of the world. Do you know that? The, um, they have a different strategy, totally different strategy. Yes? Yes, JJ, you know that. And do you know that the UK, in terms of uh, infected people and, um, and so on, are basically average? They're just a little bit above the average. Right now, they are third in the world or something like that, which make them average. Do you understand? Nothing happened. There's no difference. So quarantine do not help because if quarantine will help, they will be much worse than Israel, for example. But they are much better than Israel. Yes. Yes, I know. And they are not forcing us to stay inside. That's very smart. Now, there is not one country across the globe that doesn't have at least one dead person due to flu, AIDS, car accident, etc. But only 31% of the countries have people that are dead because of the coronavirus. And when I'm talking to you that there is not one country across the globe that doesn't have at least one dead person due to flu, AIDS, car accident, etc. per day, every day, not after four months, every day. It's amazing. Now let's go back to, the, to our coronavirus and look at some data. I want to look at the death, how many people die per day worldwide, okay? So, coronavirus, more or less 60. That was yet, uh, true for yesterday, okay? Today it's a little bit more. Car accident, how many people do you think die per day from car accident? How many people do you think die per, per day? 500. Yes, 1,140 per day. Per day, 3,287. Do you know how many percentage more it is than 60 per day? How many people die from aspirin per day? 
Aspirin. How many people die from aspirin per day? This is really fascinating. Eight. From aspirin. Eight people die from aspirin. From, it's like nothing. Pneumonia. 7,000 people. Flu. 1,769 people. Now, problem that caused by medical doctors and so on. 465. Just for you visiting a doctor. HIV. 2,109. Do you understand? It's just hysteria. Do you understand? If you look at this number, you really have to ask yourself, what's going on? Now, if, if we will make sure, if we, and I'm talking about you and me, make sure that you will give, you, you will start promoting what I'm teaching here, uh, not just in this webinar, but in the whole series, and people will start to understand what they need to protect themselves, I can promise you for sure that within three days from the moment that we will start promoting it, the number of coronaviruses will go down. Because the coronavirus cannot survive with this handling. 100% cannot. So let's look at what you can do about it now. Let's, do, let's see, I'm going to give you things that you can do about it now immediately, right now, and uh, you should write this thing down and do it. It's not the full handling, but it will help you a lot. And here we go. The first thing you will have to understand, fully understand, is what a virus is and how it works. That I will explain in the Survival Pack series of the webinar, but at the moment, right now, you need to know the problem is not the coronavirus, it is weak cells. Our first and most important action is to strengthen the cells, not the immune system. Right now, I will give you the first physical handling in the survival uh, pack series. You will understand why, etc. So I'm not going to explain to you all the details. I'm not going to give you definitions. I'm not going to explain to you how it works uh, um, electrical-wise, how it works in terms of all the other explanations. Number one, vitamin E. Vitamin E is oxygenate the blood and block some of your mind's attempt to upset you. You really have to understand that. If you have enough vitamin E in the blood and it has to be above a certain level because otherwise it's useless, it actually blocks your mind's attempts to upset you. There is no connection. The, the stomach uh, entity do not react to the pictures that it's usually react to when there is enough E in the blood. Do you, do, you, do you get that? Good. Now, now, vitamin E has got bad PR as it cure heart disease. 50% of the income in the US is from heart disease. It improved the cell's resistance, and most importantly, after three days, it greatly improves the communication between the spirit and the body, which means once the spirit is in action, once the spirit is uh, operating, uh, there is no issue. Uh, let me just turn someone turn on this camera. Remove it. Okay, here we go. Yes, the, the vitamin don't help the spirit. But what the vitamin doing is they preventing the mind from communicating with the entities. And so the spirit is less stimulated or re-stimulated. Less upset, you can say. You understand? Now, fish oil is, is not the answer because you need to know the quantities and the combination between the vitamins. But I'll give you right now just the, the basic what you need to do right now until you will join the, until we will start the uh, webinars, which is the day after tomorrow. Now, it improved the cell resistance, and most importantly, after three days, it greatly improved the communication between the spirit and the body, as it reduces the uncontrolled effect of the mind on the body due to energy and, ex and oxygen starvation. When you have lack of uh, uh, energy or lack of, lack of oxygen, when you have that kind of starvation, when the body do not convert energy properly, and there is lack of um, oxygen, what you get, you get pictures that are affecting the body very badly. It is totally ineffective below 600 milligram, milligram per day. 
totally ineffective. It's useless. If you took 500, it's like you didn't take anything. To make it work perfectly, you will need to take it in combination with other vitamins, minerals, and oil based on your weight, height, and gender. Okay? As part of the Survival Pack series of webinar, I will ask you to send me your data and I will recommend the list of vitamins, minerals, and oils with the exact dosage for your case. Okay? It it's depend on the weight, depending on a few other things. I will send you a questionnaire, you will answer the questionnaire, and I will tell you the quantities. Okay? Good. So I really register. You really want to register. Okay. Now, right away, start taking a daily intake of vitamin D. This is really important. Immediately, before you, before you move, before anything. Okay? Vitamin D. But how much vitamin D? How much do you think you should take? How many you should take? 1,000, 1,000, 2,000. Okay. 5,000, 4,000, 20,000. Okay. So, it is lacking in most people, and when it is lacking, your cells will be hopeless against the virus. I recommend at least 2,000 IU per day at the moment. This is the starting point. If you start with high dosage at the beginning, the body will resist it. You need to start taking it on a gradient. Any person that takes high dosage after he didn't take anything, the body will resist it. And you would, and will not observe it. There need to be a ramp up period. Okay? So you need to start for at least three days, 2000, not more. Otherwise, the body will resist it. And then you will need to have a one week cleanup period before you get more vitamin D because the body will resist it. Do you, do you understand that? It's JJ, you will give me the. Uh, the data, I will ask you the data and I will give you the quantities and what is the gradient when day one, day two, day three. Yes, it's okay, Lena. I will send you a, a, a recording of if you just miss one. Uh, how do we know of resist? Uh, how, do, how do I know it resists? Uh, when you'll get into the seminar, I'll explain to you how it works and it will be very obvious to you. Okay? It's basically you calculating the resistance of the body based on the height, which give you the length, based on weight, which give you the density, and you just calculate resistance exactly like you calculate a resistor on any other uh, electronic um, board. The body is an, an electronic board. Good. Now, and if you are affected, use vitamin C. If you do get affected, use vitamin C. The exact quantity which makes to purchase. Most vitamins on the market are useless. You're buying vitamins in the market, most of them are useless. They are not vitamins. They tell you they are vitamins. They are not. They are not working. They have part in, parts in them that prevent the uh, they not getting observed in the body or absorbed in the body. So you need to know what to, to, to make, how much, etc. Okay. And Vitamin C. Vitamin C, you need to start immediately, 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 if you, on a day-to-day -day basis, 2,500. If you get sick, minimum 10,000. Minimum, minimum. Okay? It will cause upset stomach, but they are, that's why you take other vitamins with it to balance it. Simply do one of the following. So now, if you get uh, affected, you need to, first of all, bombard yourself with C or bombard the body with C and do one of the following. One of the following. Sauna, at least at 56 degrees Celsius, four times per day, 20 minutes each cycle. You want to do that if you actually been infected. At least four times per day, 20 minutes each cycle, Fix, at least 56 degrees. So you go in, you sit in the 56 degrees, and you inhale the, this hot um, Celsius. Yes, it's Celsius, it's C. 56 degrees C. Fahrenheit, I think, is uh, um, Fahrenheit is uh, times 30 or plus 32 divided to 2, if I'm not mistaken. 
or times two plus times two plus thirty two divided by two. Okay. Next option: inhale steam. Inhale steam again for 50, 15, 15 to twenty minutes each day, four times per day. Okay. This is if you already got symptoms. By the way, that's good for also for for a flu. Or use hair dryer. You can take a hair dryer and inhale the air from hair dryer. You need to block the the flow of air so the hair so the uh, hair will get uh, warm enough. And while you do that, you need to hold in your hand some kind of a towel with the cold water and and cool the face because what you want is to get the air inside the the, the respiratory system high enough. Okay. So far, so good. So this is an immediate first aid. That's what you need to do immediately until we're starting the, the webinars. Okay. Now, this is the first step. The full handling is in the coronavirus, in the Corona Survival Pack series of webinars. Three daily webinars, guaranteed result, 2,500 vitamin C. Three daily webinars, guaranteed result, all profit will be donated, when men will become friend to men. This is something that really important. The price is in 1797. Anyone, anyone can uh, afford it. Anyone. I want you to register now. It is really important. Very, very important. Mayor100hex.com. The registration is per household. And what you get, you get your friend to register. You really need to get your friend to register. So far, so good. Now, who feel that he got something out of this webinar? I did. Me, 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 me. Good. Excellent. Beautiful. Okay, we had about, uh, I think, 160 people on the call. And uh, tomorrow, I want to do another free webinar like that. And I want to give you a bit more data. So get, be ready. I will send you a link tomorrow, another free webinar, because I want to give you more data. Today, I gave you just the overall data. Uh, and tomorrow, you can bring more people with you, invite people. Any person that will come will know what I'm talking about. It's very, very, very low gradient. But tomorrow, I want to talk a little bit more about the spirit and the condition of the spirit. Today, I gave you more handling to the body. Tomorrow, I want to give you more handling about the spirit. Okay. What about hot bath instead of sauna? A hot bath is good if, but you need to inhale. You need to make the internal part of the body hot, not just the external part. So uh, I estimate that if you sit in a hot bath, you need to make sure that you inhaling uh, hot air because otherwise internally you will not get to the temperature that you need. So you need internally to get to 56 degrees Celsius. You, you, you get the idea. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining. Excellent. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very, very, very much for being here. Thank you for registering. Thank you for participating in the chat. Please go online and share your wins. Ask people to join tomorrow. Tell people that tomorrow we're going to have another seminar. I will cover some of the things that I covered today and much more. Please, please, please invite people. It's really, really important, okay? Are you with me? Just write success stories. And if you tag me while you write success story, then I go and I put the link to register there, okay? Okay, thank you very much and good night. I want to thank uh, Pedro and Alex for helping and um, Ashley and Steve and uh, Karen and the most, the biggest, 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 biggest help. For Lisa, she helped me a lot, a lot, a lot in the past two days. Lisa, thank you very much. You did not lose your touch. Okay. I love you, everyone. Thank you very much for joining. And of course, Ray. I, Ray I helped me before, even before we started. So, Ray, thank you as well. And thank you for, the, for agreeing to do the um, meditation part.
Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.